Hi, I'm Steve Shoulder from the Business Turnaround Group. This is step seven of our eight simple steps transformation process, which will enable you to transform your business in 90 days or less. In the previous step, we showed you how to fine tune the choice of pilot area, if this is not already clear to you, how to communicate with key people in the pilot area, how to develop a simple roadmap with clear milestones and the required resources, how to assign responsibilities and to delegate to the team, how to set the launch date and give the project a name, and how to communicate the launch details to all parts of the business. In this step, we will show you how to monitor the results of your pilot activities. Your pilot activities will have undoubtedly delivered significant results. And of course, it is important to monitor these moving forward in order to sustain the gains achieved. The team and the people in the pilot area will be fully involved in the development and design of all monitoring systems. There will be clear ownership, responsibilities and accountabilities for all of the new systems for monitoring that have been implemented. Visual management systems can be introduced so that at any point in time, anyone in the business can see how well we are progressing and sustaining the results of the previous activities. Regular feedback meetings will take place and these will involve senior management team and other key players to stay abreast of what is actually happening on the ground post-activity. The key point is to remain focused. We should consider and monitor everything post-activity to avoid any slip back of the results which were originally achieved. We need to understand what went well and also what did not go so well so that we make better decisions for the coming days. When we are all happy with this, we can put our minds to creating the plans for the future rollout activities. To summarise this step, you now know how to set up a set of simple measures for the pilot programme, how to assign responsibilities and to delegate to the team, how and where to publish the results from the programme and how to use short interval control methodology to maintain focus and make necessary corrections as you go, how to review progress with the team on a weekly basis, how to report progress to the owner of the area and the senior management team and how to make an early start on the full rollout if the results are good. You're now ready to tackle step eight. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to see more of what we can offer, please visit us at businessturnaroundgroup.com.